<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I thought Ron's was like a joke. You giggly research panic and you just get a picture of it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be trying Strongman for the first time. Now as I literally have no idea what I'm doing, I figured I'd enlist the help of someone who does. So I've been doing a bit of online research, I found a guy, what was his name? Je Jeddy. Jeddy Balls. Jeddy Balls? Eddie Ball, basically just a guy who knows about Strongman. It should be good, it should be fun, it should be insightful. Now, if you like these bodybuilder tries type of videos, then let me know, drop the video a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Let's get things started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My overhead pressing strength is akin to that of like an eight-year-old girl. An eight-year-old girl? Yeah, on a good day. Okay, we are at uh, Commando Temple Gym, which sounds elaborate. It's a pretty sick gym, pretty sick looking gym to be fair. Now. We're going to be doing, uh, like, you're going to take pretty strong man stuff, right? I am indeed. Like, I'm a strong man, I'm actually a virgin across the board, but I'm particularly a strong man virgin, so Eddie's going to be taking me through some strong man stuff. Um, now, two things to bear in mind here. I have never done strong man before in my entire life. Uh, I've just eaten about 15,000 calories of disgusting, greasiest breakfast you've ever seen, so it's not a great combo. Um, no, no, it's the perfect combo. It's not the perfect combo. Greasy breakfast and strong man are like carrots and peas. So the first thing you will do when you enter the commando gym. Set on that one. Who is this guy? What am I agreed to? Right, I think we'll do uh we'll get you on the log press first. So you've done, you, so you've done power lifting, yeah. so you've done lots of overhead stuff, but have you ever done anything as awkward as a log? Honestly, like the imbalance between my flat pressing and my over pressing was unbelievably like if there was a record for the biggest discrepancy between the overhead press and the back yeah, yeah. honestly, it's ridiculous. Okay, well, we'll find out. Let's get on the log. Let's have a find out, eh? We've got a little, little baby log. We've got sort of growing up big brother log. And then we've got daddy log. How much do you that way, just that by itself to no plate? Uh, probably about 100. 100 kilo. Are you joking? Yeah. I'll tell you now. 80. 80, 80 okay, kilo, there you go. I'm going to show you to press that as it is. Let's start, let's start with the big brother log, eh? Don't embarrass me. This is the weirdest thing, right? Like normally in a, in a regular gym environment, I feel like pretty good, pretty confident. I'm like one of the stronger guys there. <laughs> I feel ashamed just to like pick up a weight. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm scared to do that. I might just leave now, to be honest. So what, what, is, what is that on the ceiling? Like? Um, that is a replica of uh, Bigfoot's penis. <laughs> Put handles on it. That is from your basement. That's straight from Eddie's basement. The Eddie Hall S and M Hall of Fame. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the iconic strongman events is the log press. Now it might not seem that hard to do, but there's a lot of technique to it. You've got to stand up right with it, then you've got to sit down and roll it down your legs away from you, and you've got to pull it into your stomach, and then it's fast hips, up to the chest, and then a little flick it off. This is 60 kilo. Empty. I've got a nice log for you to start on. Maybe, right? Yeah, that's absolutely the idea. So just hold <laughs> that's that's the middle there. There we go. Up to the chest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting absolutely mugged off. Let's see, uh, let's see how heavy you can go on this log, eh? Yeah, hands in the middle. I've got a belt on the way, borrow mine. Yeah, should be fine. Let's just like, wrap it around twice. Perfect. <laughs> right, now sit down with it and roll it down away from your legs. No, 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 no. no. So as you, as, so keep it where it is, but just roll it away from you. Sit down, so you're like in a squat position. Bring it further up. <laughs> so I'll show you one more time. Oh, just roll it down to your knee. Now pull it into the stomach, creating right that shell. Right, that's what the four angles is for. It's fast hips, just stand up. It's there, it's touching your chin. And then look, press. That's it, pull it in. So really push your back. And then just stand up. That's it, touch your chin. Boom, good. <laughs> So awkward. That's what strong man is, picking up <laughs> awkward things. It's carrying and weird massive Trying things. to carry them as long and as far and heavy as you can for, for fun. We don't know. We want. No, that's, that's not the weight. <laughs> what weight are you? 17 inch. I don't know, maybe like 30. Give me the As if. As if. Right. <laughs> I don't think it'll go. <laughs> 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 that is. Mm. Right, we're up to 80 kilo on the log press now. Pull it in tight and it fast hips. There you go, to the chin. Go. Up 
okay. I'll be out in a sec, two seconds. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Bad buddy, it's event one down. I was a true strong man, halfway through your training session, or in this case, an eighth the way through your training session. I would have a subway sandwich. Hey, breakfast about 20 minutes ago. Nice big cheese and ham toasty. You've got to stay fueled up, we've got a big day ahead of us, lots of training. We're also filming a day where we swap diets. That video will be up on Sunday. I've already eaten an enormous breakfast. I'm now eating a cheese and ham toasty sandwich in the middle of a session. This is a ridiculous thing to do, and it stinks. My hand's gonna be greasy as well, for goodness sake. Mmm. Where did you get it from? I just found it in a bag or something. <laughs> <laughs> remember, I think the way you keep screwing up is you're standing up and then curling it towards you. As you go down, curl it away from you. And that gives you that sort of momentum to curl it up. Okay. I'll treat you sandwich and start it, That's it, pull it inside. Good. Go on. I was going to kill myself. You can tell you've done powerlifting there, you've got that very sort of explosive sort of getting under it. Pull it in really tight. Hit. Yeah. Big legs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not feeling the crowd to a traditional Ollie bar. Yeah, this is strange because it's like. I want to get it closer to me, but it's so like, wide. Yeah. It just feels really awkward. I mean, it's like the stabilizers, because it's like doing that. It's going to chop it on my head. It is hard. Right, I think we'll do another overhead event, not axle. I've told him I'm weak overhead, right? And he's now just absolutely <laughs> rinsing me with all of the and overhead. Then, and then we'll do dumbbell overhead. And then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up is the axle press. Now, again, a bit like Olympic lifting, but the bar's two inch fit. Obviously, you've got to get it from the floor to your chest. You can't Olympic clean it. You're, you're holding your. You're going to hold the bar like that. You can't Olympic clean it because the bar's so thick. It's going to snap my wrist. Yeah, it just falls out. And uh, I've added a nice puddle of piss. Just to up the ante. So you're from here, you've got to go to the stomach. Spot to the stomach. I haven't, I cannot do that. <laughs> I have not got I'm that. I'm sorry, man. You've had, you've had a, a breakfast and a sandwich now. Switch grips, chest, and then press. Okay, hang on, so you switch, so you switch, you switch your grip when you yeah. get to here. So when you get down to your, onto your stomach, you have to really lean back, switch your grips, and then to the chest. See this happen, it looks so, it looks horrendous on your like, so much like high extension. Oh yeah. It's vertical, it's so thick, as it. That's what she said. Switch grip. Oh, fuck, that's ridiculous. Set to the chest. There you go, and then off. Good. That's 75 kilos, should we go up? Yeah. It's so wide, it's so like awkward to hold in there. <laughs> Switch. Yeah. I've actually got the world record in the heaviest weight ever pressed. Above the head in an axle format, 216 kilos. <laughs> this is like, and it literally it bent me in half. So you get it onto here, and I'm literally like that swap grip, and then wrunch it up the chest. Oh, it's crazy. Thought of your spine. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> good. Put it back up there. Yeah, good. Big press. Easy. Go you up again. Yes, do it, mate. Do it! During training, a litre of cranberry juice is essential. At least. I always have two, but I've only got one with me. So. Two litres of cranberry juice. Two litres of cranberry That's just like fuel in between your sandwiches. It looks like I said sandwiches. If you get me another sandwich, I'll kick off. Alright, here we go. 120 <laughs> kilo. One, switch. <laughs> do you reckon to get on the bat? Tell you what, go. <laughs> 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 oh, you know, the worst. The whole way on there. <laughs> uh, what I try and do then is perhaps just a double over and go straight onto the belt and then use your belt as a lever to go to your chest. I'm terrified now after that experience. <laughs> oh, I'm honestly going to have the biggest bruise you've ever seen. I don't know, the whole stomach's black. It can really pinch you. <sighs> oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna need like a skin graft in my stomach. <laughs> you know, that, that was fine to there. 
So if you want to do it in one, if you, if you get it from there to your chest and then swap it. my chest and then I couldn't do this, so I ended up pressing, no joke, ended up pressing the axle like that. It was, it was the most horrendous thing I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, on, on to the belt, let's go on to the belt. Now swap grip now. And from here, in one to the chest. <laughs> Nearly. Oh, I want to get that song. Right, now close your belt. Might be a bit tight, so what? Protect your stomach skin, one and one. Get the ball into there now. I mean, that, that's basically what I've got now. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've had to stick one up. <laughs> Big flip now. Big hips. <laughs> yes. Big legs. One. Big legs. Darkness, my old right. friend. Really? So right. annoying. <laughs> ah. So this is the super yoke. So what we do with this, nice and easy. I'm just going to get the grip relatively high, sort of just below your sort of nipple eye. That's great. Mm -hmm. Feet in the middle of the bar. Head up. Up. And then it's a little baby steps to get going. I mean, to say right, he's making that look very, very easy. Like, he's not a normal human, so you can't put me, don't use that as a comparison, because that is not fair. How much did you do in Eddie? So, uh, Will Strong is around 500, 600 kilo, obviously for speed. 600 kilograms, that is absolutely disgusting. As if that's a thing. So keep that, so the whole point is to create that shelf, so yeah. elbows up, yeah. That's it. Perfect. Wobbly so much, mate. Yeah, and then wobbly too, mate. And then we just keep adding weight. So I think we'll do five, five, ten meter runs. Right, so we'll start with twenty-five. So hundred and seventy. Casual one seventy, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I thought runs was like a joke, but then the <laughs> pace. You Google research panic and you just get a picture of it. <laughs> so, first thing, I mean, just pick it up, feel the weight, take a couple of baby steps, and then feel good, speed up. A couple of baby steps. Yeah. Feel all right? Yeah, feels good. Uh, another 25 corner, so now it's 270 kilos. So we're going up in 100 kilo increments, right? Yeah, of course. Normally when I train, I go, I'll maybe put like a couple of fives on. We're going up by 100 kilos. <clears throat> That's the secret right, you can't let it wobble. So that's why you've got to get it on your back, you've got to squeeze it in with your arms, create that shelf and stop it wobbling. So it's a lot of upper strength as well. Literally like, keep everything tight. It's little baby steps, because if you get too far, that's going to make you do that. But tiny little baby steps, keeps, up, it keeps the weight behind you all the time. Tiny steps. Yes, keep it moving, keep it moving. <laughs> so what you did then is you took a step and then stopped so the weight overtook you and then you try and go again, it's obviously fighting against the weight. So it's it's baby steps but it's constant. This is like 270 now. Yeah. This is more than I ever squatted in my entire life. Just put it out there. Keep it moving. Heel turn, heel turn, heel turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I let it sit, I let it up sit down my back. <laughs> put some slow-mo on this. Slow-mo. A little bit of music. Not slow. Keep going down. Keep going. Right. Right. <laughs> right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more meters and I'm done. And then we want the up the ante once more. Come on. That's it. That's it. Good. So you got the angle of it now, didn't you? Yeah. I feel like it's sticking a bit better. Yeah, I took it from my mouth. You're right, Bob. That is absolutely ridiculous. I haven't done that for a long time myself. As if, as if I'm going to do that, as if. So this is like coming up to your maximum. This is what I would expect you. So at the Arnold Classic, they do what they call the, the, the bait carry. It's one of the strongman events. So it's basically a maximum yoke for a short distance. It's pretty much five meters. Uh, the last time I did it was 700 kilo. 
pick it up and you're literally like 700 kilograms. Yeah. My spine would just explode immediately. 400 kilos now. 400 kilograms. Take breath. Just, just pick it up and stand with it. Take a tiny, tiny step. Tiny, tiny step. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, you stood up with it. Felt like my brain was going to actually just start coming out of like, my ears. Right, I think next we'll get um, one of the most traditional strongman events. Off from the Atlasterns will be tyre flipping. And we just happen to have a couple of baby tyres in the corner here. That's the biggest tyre I've ever seen in my entire Which one do you want, the baby one or the big one? I mean, the baby one's still like... You say the baby one? Ridiculous. You're getting the second biggest tire I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the baby one and then get onto the big one. Stop coming with the baby one. It looks like it's all arms, but it is all lower back and legs. So the secret to a good tire flip is to get the weight into your chest. So you're lifting with your chest, not your arms. Uh, this is actually a very low tire, but you do it better with a big one actually. So basically, you grip it and you want all the pressure and see how all the weight in the chest here. So you're basically picking it off with your chest. With your body. And then in your, yeah, and then knee under. So just resting on your knee. And then re-grip. You feel that heavy actually. I'm saying that before I do. It doesn't. It's nice and nice and light. It feels very heavy. Nice and light. That was Eddie Fountain really hard. So <laughs> hands fully under the tire. Use your chest. Not your arms, chest, there you go. Leg under. Good, see that was easy. Yeah. Dead easy. Let's go to the big one, that was, that was too easy. Yeah. And that's a fair tire, it's like a height. Same height as me. That is dead. Stay there, stay there, stay there. <laughs> that is a, it is, it's a livable space. Charge rent on that in London. I would say it's not twice as big, but I would say that's twice as heavy because this will have steel beads in it. Twice as heavy. Yeah, because it'll have the steel steel reinforcement because they have to be such big tires. So like roughly how many ballpark? I would say I would say that would be a 200 kilo tire, and that's probably more leaning towards the 380, 390, possibly 400 kilo. All, make sure you put all the weight in your chest and your arms. Knee under. Get up, rest it on that leg. Right. Keep, make sure your biceps aren't exposed now. So triceps. So get like that. That's it. I'm going to use the triceps. Big push. Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Get it. Get it. Good man. Awesome. See how low that thing is. Because the things are slow, it's hard to get yeah, yeah, yeah. through it. It's really, so, it's really satisfying though. So a lot, a, lot, a lot of people do, that's why it's so scared of you going under. Yeah, yeah. Is to get it up and then try and use the biceps. Oh, okay. and I've seen so many people pop biceps off. Yeah. So I'm glad you've got your triceps as well. Oh, and it's, still, it's so satisfying. <laughs> it's like a massive time. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's very satisfying. <laughs> The strong man stones, not the Atlas stones. And uh, this is like a classic one, right? This is, like, this is what I, when I think of strong man, I picture this, that. Yes, so this is like one of the oldest events in, in strong man. So, Will's strongest man would do like 120 kilo up to a six foot platform, probably about that high. And then it would go up in weight, but the punch would get lower. And then you'd finish on like a 220 kilo. Stone onto here. So, I mean, very similar to the log press, picking it up and then you're sitting down with it, re gripping, pulling it in tight, and then it's hips again. So, so, up to the chest, sit down with it, end of the knees, re grip, pull it into the chest. the technique again because it's yeah. really important to keep your arms straight because yeah. if you start trying to curl it with your arms boom yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen it a lot so straight arms underneath pull it to the chest 
and then you're catching it, mm -hmm. re-grip, if you can, lock your fingers, and you've got it locked into the chest then. Just to your knees, sit down, right, put it into your chest, chest nice and tight. Easy. If I'm just getting it up to your knees, once you've got it to there, once you've got it to there, most people can just lap and yeah, pull it in tight and get it nice and easy. So, up to 75. 102 kgs. That's 100. Do you want to see if I've got a bit of glue here? Just a little bit for the forearm. There you go. Ooh, look at that, lovely. It's great stuff. Lovely. And that reminds me of that sandwich I had last time. <laughs> right, so we get these key points on your arm. So where do you feel like, see that red mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's yeah. where the atlas stone is going to sit. So you just put, just put a little bit on there. It's literally going to tear the skin. A little bit of, like, a, like it's got handles. Yeah? Yeah. And then just get that off and really, like, that's it. Same with the ground. What kind of chemical do you need to get that off after? That's it, it's got, that's it, perfect. Yeah. Oh, no. Baby oil does the trick. Baby oil, baby oil. Baby oil, baby oil. So when you get the stone, uh, try and only grip it once, because the, otherwise the tacky will wear off quick. So get that one grip, and then try and use that same sort of grip all the way through. Right, so, so just go straight to the end of your knees. Sit down with it, and then like you did before, really and get it tight to your chest. Like, nice and tight. Fast hips. Good. Yes. All right, uh, we're done. That's it, Eddie. Be honest, like I heard a minute ago, Eddie say, I'm, I quote, the strongest person he's ever trained with, so. I mean, yes. In a way. In a way. For a. Uh... <laughs> that's, that's it, just leave it at that point there. I'm now sick. That was, that was honestly like. Said it in the video, that's honestly, that was so fun. Like doing that stuff is so different to what I typically do. Like, I like powerlifting because it's like, it's heavy and it's kind of raw, but that's even, this is like another level for me because it's so, yeah. I don't know, there's something so satisfying about lifting a rock onto a friggin' shelf. Like, look, look like you had fun. Yeah. I've got to say, but you did very well. You, know, you come in very sort of dubious about the overhead stuff, but you nailed it. Not quite get the axle quite right, but I forget if it's all the training, tie yeah. it, nailed it, the yoke, super impressed with the yoke. <laughs> 310 kilo on your back, mate, and you're a, Walking with it quite quite easily. Thanks, dude. It's just it, like it's, I think it's a practice of getting used to it because there's such niche movements like yeah. all those. Even like you said like yeah, the mix grip on that massive yoke, whatever that thing's yeah. called. Yeah. yeah, it's such an unnatural thing to do. So it's a combination of being strong but actually being able to execute and like think yeah. about it when you're in a ridiculously uncomfortable, unnatural position. Yeah, no, that was sick. That was sick. Okay, we're done. That's the video. But I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the man hoovering incredibly loudly in my video. Um, I'll put a link to Eddie's channel, I guess. I, I mean, if you don't know Eddie Hall is, and you're probably like a Mormon or something, but I'll put a link to the show in the description. Go and check him out. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.